just a note to myself about to put this RGB strip that I made onto this client's cluster. But I did my soldering on the on top of this PC board. It was much easier than, than measuring and doing on the table and then putting back. So I just need to make sure that that's in the center. This lines up with the post for the turn signal. Uh, pretty much straightforward other than that. These should go right where the original LEDs were. That should be a little bit centered. So, okay, hopefully, hopefully I can move this without messing it up. All right, here we go. All right, Big Frank, got you going here. Uh, it's certainly beautiful. It's so incredibly bright. Let's see if we can find the remote here. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a red. I know it looks orange. Let me get my blue lights on. There's a little more resemblance to it. So, um, I, had all, I had all your uh, LED strips made and ready on another cluster for you, so it wouldn't take too long. And uh, put them on there, thing looked fantastic. Go out and set your speedometer, and your speedometer didn't work. Yep. And uh, my fault for not taking a video of your car... Um, before I started working on it, because I'm sure they were broken when I got here. I didn't do any solder work, didn't, you know, all I did was tape some LEDs in here. So, um, let me change the setting on the camera, get a little darker. Okay. Uh, so, and yeah, uh, so they didn't, uh, they didn't work, dude. So I took, took it all apart, put a new stepper motor, uh, behind your speedometer, uh, that I had to destroy a $150 cluster to steal that part and uh, still did not work, right? So there I am. Uh, so I get another 350Z cluster. Um, Cruise in blue. Um, get another 350Z cluster and I rebuild it. And, it. and it was a 14 hour build because you have the LEDs coming little little wires and your LEDs are right under your needle so they're bright and then all your hazard stuff is blue so it was a you know it was a big big build I had to set the mileage to match yours I think uh, this is what is this this is on 51 574 I think I need to put about six miles on I have have your mileage uh, uh, notated inside so uh, so it was a real it's a real hassle. Now, here's the thing on uh, on the memory. If you turn off the LEDs drips with the remote, and you take your key out, I forgot the color it was on. <laughs> yeah, uh, and you turn it back on. It holds memory. Let's do it in red, just just for the heck of it. So turn it off. Turn off your car. It will retain that memory. And uh, inside, when plugged up to a 12 volt power supply, <laughs> let's turn it back on. All right, there it is, red. Uh, uh, when using a 12 volt power supply, you can unplug it from the wall and plug it back in, and it holds memory. Here's the thing: this is a 12 volt system. There's your little, um, your little uh, controller. And I tried it with the with the blue remote control which was wired different from this I think uh, red and green were swapped around so on the little control thing I swapped them and I tried going back to the white one well you didn't pay me enough money to experiment remember you wanted to, you got a $200 discount because you're a return customer well that is you know I spent three days on this and I'm just not gonna experiment anymore so uh, oh and back to my point well my 350Z, and I don't know about yours, is putting out 14.4 volts. So when we leave the leave it turned on and turn off the car, take our key out, when I turn it back on, that 14 volts erases the memory, and it just goes into uh, some kind of, up. Oh, just made a liar out of me, didn't it? Well, how about that? Okay. 
Well, I'm telling you, I turned it on earlier. Maybe it's because I have both gauges plugged in now. Well, I just had the main gauge in, and I would turn turn it off, take out the key, and come back. It would lose uh, the memory that it had read in. It would go to like the demo. But up, oh, see there, it just did it. So the the key is, if you want it to remember, uh, remember the color it was. We've either got to find a way to step down the um, step down the voltage out of the 350Z, or um, let's see, step down the voltage of the 350Z. Now, now it's not changing colors. Stand by. All right. Well, the remote wasn't working that time, and I had to uh, unplug the power. Now it's working. So it just has too much voltage from the 350Z, man. That's all there is to it on my car. That's too much voltage for one of these controllers. So you need to find a way to step that power down, uh, something between the 12 volt uh, and the LEDs. So anyway, it really looks great, but your memory thing is still an issue. All right then, bye now.